Today we're checking out Star Trek The Next Generation Season 2. There's our girl! Is it a girl? I'm... Ships are girls. The Enterprise. Huh. Cool, cool opening. Alright, what are we up to, guys? <gasps> beard, the beard! Riker has a beard! Your and Wesley at the command? Oh my god, okay, I love it already. He's got a communications pin. Here, sir. Thank you, Mr. Crusher. Crash it, Crusher. Ask is being shown to her quarters. <laughs> the chair thing. Yes. Chief Engineer. Still has a nice ring to it. Each of these units will have Chief Engineer Jordy. Number one, I'll relieve you at zero three zero zero. Number one with the beer. Oh my God, he did a reverse foot thing, reverse Take leg thing over the, the chair. <gasps> Set course for Odet Nine. Aye, sir. Course for Odet Nine has been impulse. Maximum impulse velocity. Aye, sir. Maximum impulse velocity. Okay, we're saying all kinds of good stuff. I'm very pumped at the open of this episode. What's this twinkly star thing? What is this? Oh, this is a bad twinkly light. This is not a friendly twinkly light. I'm getting nervous. Is it Troy? Don't hurt her, I'm getting chills. A twinkly light that came for Troy? Space. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission. Different! It's different! Ooh. There's been an outbreak of an unclassified plasma plague in the Rochelle system. The child. We're on an emergency run to collect specimens of the deadly plague and where, hopefully, an antidote can be produced. Hmm. Special guest star Whoopi Goldberg? What? When we have a complete list of all the specimens we will be carrying, I want you and Dr. Uh, Pulaski, Crusher? Sir. Dr. That's... Pulaski. Aye, sir. What happened to Crusher? By the way, where is our new doctor? Sick bay. This is the captain. Is Dr. Pulaski there? Their pants are different. A few hours on board and already she's found 10 forward. No. What's 10 forward? I'll go. What happened to Crusher? Oh my god, everything's different. Hello, Captain. Explain where your mom went. I'm sorry this mission will delay your reunion with your mother. It'll give me the time to finish some projects I have to do. He looks upset. Or mad. Mad? It's always hard leaving any ship, just as it was for your mother when she left to become head of Starfleet Medical. But uh. moving from one assignment to another is part of the life. But this isn't any ship. No, it's not. That's why I like Wesley. Guinan. Captain. <gasps> there is Dr. Pulaski. Look at that hat. What be? Was this before or after she got, like, pretty famous for movies? Doctor, the protocol may have been lax on your last assignment, but here on the... She's Sit down, Captain. You'd better listen to this. Excuse me? Oh. Is she okay? This is Dr. Catherine Pulaski. We'll handle the formal introductions later. What's up with Troy? Counselor Deanna Troy is pregnant. Pregnant? She's going to have a baby. Baby? From the ball of light? This is a surprise. Yeah. More so for me. The fetus is about halfway through the first trimester. We believe that conception took place 11 hours ago. What? Yeah, what? With the ball of light? That it appears that the fetus is several weeks older. At this growth like rate, rapidly Counselor aging. Troy will have her baby in about 36 hours. Uh... I don't mean to be indelicate. No, what? <laughs> But who's the father? <laughs> Last night, something which I can only describe as a presence entered my body. Crazy. Well, let me get this straight. Deanna was impregnated by a humanoid, an alien. It's a male human. Are there are any genetic patterns other than hers. Does she hear the heartbeat? If the fetus is a laboratory analysis is still possible. To Counselor Troy, if the fetus is a boy. Good questions. Captain. What do you want to do? Do whatever you feel is necessary to protect the ship and the crew. I'm going to have this baby. And it seems that the discussion is over. I wonder, like, if she can sense things from it? Like, is she afraid of it? I'd be terrified. Look at her. How are you feeling? I should be feeling uncomfortable with all the changes in my body. Better than fine. Wonderful. 
got that pregnant glow. I want a complete, detailed manifest of everything you intend to bring aboard my ship. Very good. I will allow you access to my computer banks, okay? Number one, arrange to have Hester Delt transported up. I love how he calls him number one. Data? Is she okay? Can you help me get to sick bay? Is she in labor? Worf, assemble your security team in sick bay. Is that necessary? Just <laughs> Captain's orders. I guess, I mean, you don't really know what she's giving birth to. In my other deliveries, except for a couple, the father was always present. Difficult under the circumstances. Perhaps I could serve in that capacity. Data! Commander Data will do very nicely. Be your choice. Just be with me. There's nothing to be nervous about. Data's very sweet. It's happening. How does the it birth? feel? Uh, do you want something for the pain? It will in no way diminish the experience. I have felt no pain. None. That's lucky. Have your security men stand back. I understand the importance of having you here, but keep out from underfoot. Yeah, fellas, look out. Maybe just shoots out right into Worf's arms. I mean, they never went into it in season one after the pilot episode, but they have a thing in the past, right? And they, I think they care about each other, so like each other a little bit. I mean, they all care about each other as crew members and friends, but they have something else going on too, I think. I tell if she dies, I'm going to, I, I quit this show, by the way. Got him. You can relax. <laughs> Two minute birth. Oh my god. <laughs> Bajazoid. Human. That's bananas. If only real birth was like that. So small. Are easy births the norm for Bajazoids? <laughs> Not according to my mother. <laughs> She's just very lucky. You can come in the rest of the way now. Well, I don't think there's anything to be scared of. There's no threat, Lieutenant. You and your men can relax. It's just a baby. Just a little baby boy. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to participate. He's so sweet. Do you have a name? Ian Andra, after my father. Oh, maybe he can be the dad. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Troy just giving birth on first episode. I, for some reason, I am a little suspicious of this lady. What up What up with this new doctor? She had her baby yesterday. If I were to examine her now, I would not be able to tell she had a baby or had ever had a baby. It was huh? as if the incident never happened. What is going on? It's time I paid my respects. Is he gonna hold this baby? I love Picard. I want to see him hold the baby. I wanted to see how you were and have a look at your... <gasps> baby, my goodness. What? What is happening? Four Earth years old. Four? Ian, say hello to Captain Picard. You mean he can talk? <laughs> hello. That's, that's kind... I mean, this kid's cute, but this is freaky. Please don't worry. Everything is okay. Is it? This is weird. He's worried, he's worried. If Picard's worried, I'm worried. Sick bay, this is the bridge. We are ready to begin loading. We need is he gonna become time. a threat it's when he's older? Than we anticipated to categorize these specimens. Which is presumably data. a few minutes. Look at this. You should call him data. My name, it is pronounced data. Oh, okay. <laughs> puppies! Stop. Oh my God. Guys, puppies get me. <laughs> I just want to hold them. I want to care for them. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet they smell good like little puppies. I like it here, mommy. Say thank you to Miss Gladstone for having you and let's go get something to eat. It's been like thank one you. day. Bye. Look at those puppies. Transporter three, we are ready to receive. <laughs> Does it all go haywire? Data, the first batch is in place and we're ready for the next. I am waiting for something to go wrong here. So far, everything's gone to plan on this episode. I wanted to stop by and see how Ian was doing. I was just about to get him his supper. Do you want your supper now, too? Um, <laughs> no, Ian, but thank you for the invitation. What do you make of this, Picard? <laughs> Ow! Mom! Oh! Is he gonna, like, heal super fast? That's not so bad. Oh. Is that better, sweetheart? Everything's going to be fine. Does he have the intellect of his age? Why are you here on this ship? I live here. Ian, I think the captain wants to know if you're ready to tell us why you came here. No, not yet. Not until he's like an adult. 
Can I get you something? No, nothing. I just like to stand here. Got a nice cup of Moruvian tea. No, nothing. You'll be leaving soon. Is she human just with like a crazy hat? Don't you always do what's expected? I try. Even if it's not what you really want. Sometimes it's more important to consider others before yourself. But sometimes the game is to know when to consider yourself before others. Is she trying to tell him he should stay? What is it? Growth. L73. Did you say growth? It's the forge. Captain, we have a, a malfunction in the containment area. How serious? Very. Commercial break. Captain, we've checked everything. There's no reason for this to be happening. I can't even isolate the cause of the problem. Maybe it's growing like the same way the kid's growing. Dr. Pulaski, they're having a little difficulty on cargo deck five. Your presence is requested. I'm on my way. You never talk about yourself. Is she just the bartender? People say you're very old and that you knew Captain Picard when he was on the Stargazer. No, I never knew the captain till I came on board. Well, everyone's very curious about you. Yes, me too. She's very old. Mr. Crusher, report to the bridge. Hi, sir. Gotta go. That's why I'm here. Thanks. They're friends now. Environments is programmed. Temperature 97 degrees Kelvin. Radiation flux zero. Exactly the way it should be, right down the line. And yet? Within two hours, it'll break out of the containment area. No, no, no. It can't break through this. Yes, it will. Uh... Captain? It's all gone to hell. We may not be able to get control of this situation. I recommend we arrange transfer of all non-essential personnel. Evacuate. Make it so. Make it so. Why this one specimen and none of the others? Something is stimulating. Is it the kid? A subspace phase inverter. We don't have one. Certain cyanoacrylates? Also not on this ship. What else? Because it's here. We better find it. Is it the kid? Is it the kid? It's the kid! Cut to the kid. It, it is. It is. It's me, Mommy. I'm the reason. What? I have to leave you now. It's very bad for everyone. Sick bay, this is Counselor Troy. I need the doctor in my quarters now! Ian! He's gonna die? I thought he would turn out to be evil, but is he just gonna die? The child is the source of the unusual radiation. Ian said he's the reason the ship is in danger. That analysis is Are correct. Are just gonna jettison this kid into I'm space? I'm losing life signs. Is he just gonna die? I'm sorry. <sighs> but why? It's turning into a ball of light. What? And then it just goes back in and she's pregnant again. What was the point of that? He just came to be born and then leave? Is a life force entity. He was curious about us, so he decided the best way to learn was to go through the process. Wow. He never meant any harm. There was a moment when you smiled. He said, thank you. I told him we will miss him. She will. And I will. Troy. Just a passing entity that was curious and wanted to be human for a bit? That's crazy. Have you discussed this with your mother? No, sir. Before I do that, I'd like your permission to stay. Wesley, it's a little more complicated than that. Is it? This is where I feel I belong. Me too! Captain, transfer complete. We are ready to leave orbit. Make it so, number one. Make it so, number one. He's got to secretly be kind of like happy about it. He never gives away too much, you know? Ensign Crusher has requested to remain on the Enterprise. His remaining will create difficulties for all of us. How so? With his mother gone, who will see to his studies? Exactly. Of course, that duty will fall to Commander Data. And who will tuck him in at night? He is young. I will accept that responsibility. <laughs> well, we know he'll get his sleep. Her uniform's pretty. Oh, and that takes care of the practical, but the more to growing up than that. Oh, it's my belief, number one, that you're best qualified to supervise that. You're willing to serve. What is a father figure? Difficult decision. Yes, I can do that. Hey, Mr. Crusher, communicate oh. with your mother at Starfleet Medical Headquarters. Give her my regards. Hey, Mr. Crusher. Engage. Engage. <laughs> Okay guys, that was season two, episode one. We made it, we made it to Riker having a beard. This episode, I don't know if anything really important plot-wise happened. I mean, we introduced a new doctor. I don't know what happened to Crusher. She went off to Starfleet, I guess. Troy had a baby, but then it left. This was a weird one. This was a weird episode. And what is with the change in uniform colors for Worf and Geordi specifically? Why did they change? Did Data change as well? Why did they change them? If it's gonna be revealed later, then don't tell me. I feel like this one is kind of middle of the road. Whoopi Goldberg, 
also right, yes. It said special guest star would be Goldberg, but they kind of introduced her as though she's a character now that's going to stay. So I hope so. I hope we learn more about her. Wesley said that everyone thinks she's really old. So that leads me to believe she's like not a human. I don't know, maybe she is a human. I'm not sure. I want to know more. And they changed the theme song just a touch, I think. I am excited about checking out the next episode though. Episode two called Where Silence Has Lease. So let's get right into it. Here we go. Season two, episode two. What's up, Picard? <laughs> You're worried. He is worried. With reason. About war for Commander Riker? Both. Oh, no. I think it's perhaps best to be ignorant of certain elements of Klingons. What's going on? Oh my god, where are they? What is happening? We're like right in the middle of something here. This is the right episode, right? Yeah, season two, episode two. Is Riker all dirty? What he sounds freaky! Boys, what are you up to? Look out! What is this? Get on! Good music. Why is Riker there? Why? why? He should have a security team. Oh no, you don't. Don't hurt him. Oh my God! If he chops off his head. What's happening? Is he coming after Riker? The exercise is over! What is happening? Please, ah! Lieutenant! Exit holodeck. They're in the holodeck! Shut up. Oh my god. Computer, program complete. Save. Coming, Commander. Right behind you. Just a training exercise. Freaking holodeck. To boldly go when no one, one has gone, gone before. before. Let me hear it. The new ending. Oof. Okay. I wasn't paying close attention. I don't know if Whoopi's in this one. We are using the time to further detail the charts of this region. But it's again, sir. Area of blackness. It appears, it disappears, and then it reappears. He looks puzzled. There it is. Where? Oh, I can't see anything. Zoom in hands. Yes. There it is, sir. Like a hole in space. A hole? It's just a rip in the fabric of time. It's a void without matter or energy of any kind. Oh, Yet frick. This hole has a form, data has height, width, perhaps, perhaps not. So. What is an illusion? If this were any ordinary kind of hole in space, wouldn't we be able to see what's behind it? Oh, Wesley. Cancel off. <laughs> <laughs> Data, is there any record anywhere of any current even vaguely similar to this? Negative, sir. I don't think we should go near it. Scanning and recording as we go. Aye, sir. Just in course to intercept in 12 minutes. They shouldn't get too close to this. Let's launch a probe into it. Yeah, yeah, Water. do that. Air scanner probe. Hold this position. Aye, sir. Hold yeah. this position. Yeah, launch some Make stuff into it. Ready, Mr. Warf. Probe it. Probe it. I'm on board. Okay, I'm on board now. Well, yeah, let's probe it. It's gone. Data, what happened? Yeah, did it just disappear? Recommend we go to yellow alert, sir. Worf gets it. Why? Sorry, sir. We're of an old Klingon legend. Ooh, yeah, yeah, Tom. A gigantic black space creature, which was said to devour entire vessels. Will you launch another probe? Probe it. It's like this face nest monster. Happened even more quickly. Recommend we fire a photon torpedo, Captain. Oh, yeah. Negative. Affirmative. Captain. That's enough, and Come to full stop and hold these coordinates. Aye, sir. I'm worried it's gonna suck them in. They've just got Wesley staring the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, sir, we seem to be inside it. It enveloped us. It moved. It enveloped. After a brief disruption, our ship's communications have returned to normal. Let's hold this position for a while now. This is worth studying. And they're they're very much just a science and discovery ship. We have no communications outside of the void. Complete your scans, data. Let's not stay any longer than we have to. Increase by one thousand, Mr. Day. No change. They should go. Difficult to make a judgment, sir, based on the absence of information. Speculate. Speculate, please. Lack of dimension. Therefore, by any accepted standard, it does not exist. Yet being within it denies that conclusion. Paradox. Could a lack of dimension be another dimension in itself? Like limbo? That's an interesting question. Mm, here for a later discussion. 
<laughs> Number one, I think we should get on with our mission. Starfleet can send a science vessel back to investigate this further. Move us back out of here. I feel like they're not going to be able to get out of it. No change? These shots are interesting. Your engines have engaged. I sir. They're not moving. Lieutenant LaForge, I'd like you to monitor our velocity closely. I miss Geordi on the bridge, to be honest. We should be seeing stars by now. No, they are stuck in this Bridget, hole. How far have we come? Anti hole. Engineering, transfer to bridge. Back where he belongs. If we dropped a stationary beacon and traveled straight away from it, we would have a fixed point of reference to confirm speed and distance. Dropped a beacon where? Try to increase to warp two. Ooh, this note. You must have come full circle, sir. We couldn't have, sir. I've shown us moving steadily away from that beacon. The directions are all messed up. Tell us about this legend. Captain, sensors indicated disturbance in sector 108. Possibly a vessel. I have some answers at last. The ship is equipped with a cloaking device. Romulan. Romulan? Hold for my orders. There! It's uncloaking. Romulan? <gasps> Fired on them! Fire torpedoes. Very effective torpedoes. That's it. They got him. That was too easy. Well, yeah. There's another vessel approaching. There's 091 Mark 26. What is Under happening? Three. Magnify. Is it them? Is it them? It's a Federation ship. C-1305-E. Oh, okay. It's not them. It's the Yamato. It's the Yamato's nowhere near this quadrant. Open a hailing frequency data. Is this real or are they just seeing, like, illusions? Life support system, engineering and propulsion all appear functional. Life forms? Data, can we be getting a false reading? As we know nothing of these circumstances, that is at least conceivable. Maybe they're in a giant holodeck. Captain, request permission to board onto the Yomada with an away team. I don't think that's a good idea. It would help us figure out what happened. It's granted. Minimal compliment. Worf, you're with me. Worf and Riker. Commander Riker is leading an away team. Hopefully the answer lies over there. Will their beaming even work in that void? Our senses indicate no life form. Still, the tactic is sound. Lieutenant. Energize. Mm, creepy. Where's Worf? Worf! These sounds, where is this? Ooh. Are these screams or instruments? Oh my god. Where is Worf? Oh god. Fire. What did you see? I was coming to help. You heard me. I heard you. Oh no. What is this? Transporter chief. <laughs> oh my god. Are they even gonna be able to beam back? This is the captain. We're out of contact with the away team. Beam them back immediately. He won't be able to. <gasps> Emergency power. In Initiate full check. All systems. Engineering section. Report. What is our situation? Engineering. Well, at least these two are together now. Close, but it's material beyond our technology. Let's get so, to the bridge. Somebody's made a... All of this. It's a trap. This is freaky. What's going on here? Yeah, what is going on? Good question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If we go through there, where will we be? On the bridge. But we are on the bridge. This is getting all scrambled. It's up to you, sir. Let's see what happens. Is it the same bridge? Well, it looks like it. It's an opening, sir. Should I set a course? On Sporter Room, do you have a fix on the away team? Can't leave them. Dude, you can't leave them. Damn. He's gonna go. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Oh, 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 uh, that's freaky. One Riker, one bridge. He's losing it. Don't growl at him. Captain, the star fix is fading. Data, lock onto the Yamato with a tractor beam. We'll leave together. So try and pull them with them. Come in. Come in, Enterprise. Hold position away, team. I've got you. We're bringing you home. Captain, it's almost gone. <laughs> all right, go, go, go. Are you all right, number one? I've had it. Let's put all this technology to work, figure out what is going on, and get the hell out of here. Whoa. He doesn't usually go off like that. Was our away team actually over there? If we weren't over there, where the hell were we? Commander. Yeah. I have reestablished the star fit. Set course. Velocity warp two. Course. Warp eight. Captain, it is not in the same sector, but another opening has appeared. Course with those stars, warp six. Yeah. Yes, sir, warp six. It's more like it. I've lost the signal, sir. Th this hole is just messing with them. This game is now wearing very thin. Let's just hold. 
perhaps a different level of consciousness. Perhaps an intelligence so vast it eluded me. Something was testing our responses to stimuli. We are being experimented on? Some kind of laboratory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. The opening seems closer, Captain. Hold present position. Good. Don't satisfy its curiosity. Captain, look. <gasps> oh. Oh, that freaks me out. Well, I've gone to such trouble to look just like you. Sensors show nothing out there. Sure is a damned ugly nothing. <laughs> we still have no idea what you represent. Data. Speaking right to data. You are of different construction in the ovens. Interesting. Picard. Riker. Knows them. Your construction also differs. <gasps> Her construction differs. My construction? Perhaps referring to your gender, Doctor. Maybe she's also an android. She doesn't know it. What we call a female. I understand. The masculine and the feminine. Oh, okay, I thought maybe she was just... I thought she was something evil. Okay. Whatever you are, your actions are not welcome. Let me put up the shield, sir. You exist, and then you cease to exist. Uh oh. Is he gonna kill that guy? <laughs> Daddy looks terrified. He's gone. We cannot allow you to do that. The experiment shouldn't take more than a third of your crew. This is crazy for a second. I thought it might be Q, like messing around with them, but it's not. In a battle for survival, Captain, 30 to 50% casualties would be appalling. But within acceptable limits. Under the circumstances, I think there is only one decision. I do not believe there is anything you can do to prevent it. Yes, there is. Is he going to sacrifice himself? Oh, no, you don't. Curing the disease by killing the patient? Better than standing around helplessly. Go down with the ship. Ooh, these ship sounds. Womp womp. womp womp. drive. Initiate auto Guys. destruct sequence. Initiate auto destruct. This is bananas. 19 minutes 50 seconds. Well, we have a countdown to friggin' auto destruct. Okay, we gotta solve it before then. Just chillin'. I guess you got 20 minutes. Go listen to your favorite album. Our destroying ourselves won't change its mind, Captain. You didn't mention you were that certain. I was wrong not to tell you. And your decision may also be wrong. I have a question, sir. What is death? Oh, yeah. What happens to him? Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> well, data. I mean, if the ship explodes, You're he explodes, but... probably the most difficult of all questions. If he doesn't get hurt or injured, he w will he die? What we are goes beyond Euclidean or other practical measuring systems, and that our existence is part of a reality beyond what we understand now as reality. Good answer. We should not let ourselves die, Jean-Luc. It is wrong of you to force us. It is wrong. Neither of you should be reacting in this way. Computer, locate Commander Data for me. Is, 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 is it not really them? Data is on the bridge. What in the F? It's the entity guy. Captain, we are clear. I didn't see it coming. He's good. It's gone, Captain. We can abort the auto destruct. Hold number one. But Captain Hold. Wood. He wants to have a word with it. I really didn't see it coming. Picard. Mr. Crusher, warp six, any heading. Now. Punch it, Wesley. 50 seconds to auto. 50 seconds. 40 seconds to auto-destruct. Dude, dude. All navigational systems confirm we are at warp six on course, sir. But are they? 10 seconds. 10 seconds to auto-destruct. Uh, dude, dude, dude. Abort. Auto-destruct sequence. Auto-destruct. <laughs> Cancel. Wait until the last friggin' second. Simple yes would have sufficed, number one. <laughs> I didn't want there to be any chance of misunderstanding. You have the bridge. What is on his mind? I have learned all I needed to know. You seem to find no tranquility in anything. You struggle against the inevitable. You thrive on conflict. You are selfish, yet you value loyalty. We have good qualities, too. Common ground. You are too aggressive, too hostile, too militant. Says the guy who killed one of them. The point is well taken, Captain. Perhaps that is a trait we share. And perhaps we shall meet again. It will be out here among the stars. No holes. Yes, sir. Warp three. And Ensign, did you encounter any holes? Steer clear. 
Agreed. No holes. That's a rule. No holes. Okay, guys, that was season two, episode two. I like that one. I felt like a lot went on during that episode. Quite an antagonist show up in the form of a hole, an evil hole, illusion hole thing. And it really did kind of freak me out when Riker and Worf beamed over to the other ship that wasn't actually there and they saw like the copies of themselves. That stuff really freaks me out. It just makes me think about like, well, if there's two sets of them, then who's the real one? And I mean, we've seen that a little bit in season one, just a touch when they were moving around on the time. Timeline. I hope we do more of that kind of stuff in the future. It freaks me out in like an unsettling way of like we're messing around with time and reality in a way that feels dangerous. I like that. I like that a lot. We didn't really go into it too much here. It was just kind of a couple of scenes there, but it freaked out Worf and it freaked out Riker. It freaked me out. I also really liked Picard's speech about death. I was interested to know what Picard thought about death and I do think it's another reality that we can't even perceive right now. So that was cool. I like that. I enjoyed these episodes. They were really fun and I am very much looking forward to the next two episodes next week. One of them is Elementary Dear Data, I believe. That sounds like a Sherlock episode to me, possibly. I'm hoping he gets kind of Sherlocky, maybe. Looking forward to that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.